Hi and welcome to Trade of the Week. This week I'm taking a look at a trade that I got wrong, how I limited my losses and why I should never have taken the trade in the first place. It's important to accept losing trades because, apart from a few really clever traders, we get a lot of them. It's how we deal with them that turns us into winners. Last Tuesday I called a double top in Euro Sterling, but that was based on a 30 minute chart and I still felt the daily chart was showing a rising uptrend. Using that interpretation, I set a limit order to go long on the expected pullback, and although the bounce didn't reach my original target, I did make money. That day the market finished near the lows, but the following morning saw a brief return above 91. I thought the market would have another go at the double top level of 91.50, but as I was going to be away from the desk for a while, I decided to be greedy. I set a li limit order to buy £10 at 90.75, 10 pips above the previous day's low. Show you that. On both the previous occasions, the price had bounced off that level to briefly break 91. I placed my stop loss at 90.55, 10 pips below the previous day's low. The price hadn't been below 90.59 for the previous three days, so if it hit that level today, I thought it would probably head even lower. On a £10 bet size, my risk on that trade was £200. Although I felt the market would retest the 91.50 level, it was having a short-term problem holding above 91. So I set my limit order to close half of my trade at 91, and I'd run the balance with a stop loss at break-even. My exit strategy was my usual combination of candle patterns, oscillators and moving averages. I returned to find my limit order filled and the price now a couple of pips higher. Uh, but with the writing was on the wall when the price refused to move higher on either the UK construction data or the stronger than expected Eurozone producer prices and by mid-morning I've been stopped out for a loss of £200. That's okay, it's all part of the business. But what trading lessons did I buy with my £200? As a fan of candlestick patterns, I shouldn't have had to pay £200 for the blinding obvious. The daily chart showed the previous day's close had formed a bearish engulfing candle. How simple is that? You can't see it from this chart, and neither did I. The simple lesson is not to get too tied up in the short term charts. Take a step back and check for the candle patterns, longer term support and resistance lines and trend lines before dealing. And don't rush to place a trade just before going to the gym. Have a good weekend.